one with a gut. Yeah. So that's uh, the eight points. You know what though? You listen that that interview with Pico is every time somebody talks to him, he's uh, giving shout props to other people, giving other people yeah, credit. Yeah, he's like, like the like, nicest kid in the world. Yeah, you love to see someone that's so talented with such a, a bright future. To this is going to be a that. war here, Joe. I absolutely positively love Ryan Blees. Well, why don't you marry Ryan Blees, I love you. Listen, 152 was the most stacked weight here. I picked Blees to win it. Everybody thought I was oh, nuts. Here he He's goes in the again. Final. Listen, to, not to toot my own horn, he didn't. Hey. We still haven't heard one where he said, oh, I, love uh, I didn't pick this guy. No, Levi said I never thought in a million years. He, <laughs> oh. Well, that's a nice hey, little backhand. Uh, no, uh, I'll tell you when I screw up. It don't happen often, though. But please, <laughs> please is going to be a senior in high school. Short, graduated from Simley. He's going to that was a Minnesota nice next year. He yeah. really extended himself to find that double leg. And off the mat, gut. They call it a two, white paddled by both. both. Yeah, white paddled. Yeah, that was way out of bounds, wasn't it? Shot nice. from way outside for Bleezy, runs through it and gets it. Little known fact. Let's hear it. Bleeze works on a gut there over on the edge. Willie, you just said little known fact. Little known fact, Ryan <laughs> Bleeze's coach, Chad Renner, was a Fargo champ here. He beat John Hughes in the finals later that year or the following season he beat John Hughes in the Dapper Dan as well I'm a big John Hughes fan I'm a big John Hughes fan too he has great hair well who wins in a battle then? I have Guerrero. no hair Emmer Guerrero Eric Guerrero or John Hughes <sighs> that's tough that's a tough call Take down a piece. So we're 2 2 at the minute 41. Oh, nice job getting the angle and the takedown there for Jake Short. Yeah, this is going to be good. I'll tell you, Blees wrestles six minutes, man. This time they will award the two, and that makes it six to two. And this is a little different, Jake Short, than I'm used to seeing because Short usually kind of plays the game, you know, like. Uh, very slow and methodical, picks his spots, and this match, he's coming out firing. Maybe he loves the rule change. Is it, has that how he wrestled all tournament? Well, I saw him in his match with John J. Chavez, and he, he kind of picked his spots. You know, he was real um, calculated, I, I guess you could oh, say. Oh, nice little flurry here on the edge, and one point for short. And oh, that's confirmed. That. I don't know about that. One side official. Seven two for nice little second time he scored with elbow that pass. Down. It looks good. Man, that's beautiful. Nine two and short is short's wrestling tough here. He's going high gut here. I thought short might be a little undersized at fifty two, but looks pretty he's holding his own. Yeah, he put on some he put on some good muscle. Double shot. leg, he's going to score the push out. Shot that from, from space. 9 3, 37 to go in the first. And getting some good hand fighting going. Double leg. Who's scoring here? Nobody. Oh, oh. <laughs> There's the push out awarded to Blees now. Blees getting heavy on the head, finding an inside shot. Switch, trying to switch to double there. Now going backside. He's got seven seconds to work. Does he do really well to score this period? And close that gap a little bit before halftime, but not going to happen. 9-3 going into the break. Impressive, impressive period for short, Joe. He scored twice on that kind of elbow pass to yeah. a low, right? Is yeah, that he, really, he found an angle and kind of just 
Had a double. Down here with junior national champion Anthony Colica from Ohio. You're going to Oklahoma State. You've graduated high school, and you we're seeing where a lot of high school graduates don't come back to juniors. Why did you feel the need to come back and wrestle this tournament? Uh, well, there's a lot of good competition here, and it's the best guys in the country. And uh, college is a lot tougher than high school, so why not get ready by coming to wrestle, to get, wrestle against the best? What are you most looking forward to when you head down to Stillwater? Um, just uh, training with the guys and uh, just uh, getting better every day and uh, seeing where it takes me. Who do you want to thank with this championship? Uh, I'd like to thank my dad, uh, all my coaches, Coach Jack for coaching me. Um, shout out to Chris Perry for uh, training me a little bit before. And uh, yeah, and my mom, hi mom. <laughs> Got to always love the high mom from a national champion from Ohio, Anthony Colica. So, Blease is, we're back here at, at Action at 152. Blease is really closing the gap. He scored a takedown and some turns here. And all of a sudden, we got a 9-9 matchup. He's going high gut. Well, you called it, Willie. He wrestles that whole six minutes. Oh, man, I tell you what, he don't stop. And, yeah, first period was all about about Jake Short and all of a sudden it's nine to nine with momentum in Blease's favor. And Short, slow to get up. Got a cut there on his face. He's holding his rib, I think, I think that last gut. And you Got know- softened up a little bit. A lot bit. of people haven't talked about this, I haven't talked about it. But in freestyle, and, and Greco obviously, at Fargo, you always see kids icing their ribs. Their ribs are banged up, bruised up, tender. And How many minutes have they had with people? Oh, uh, just grinding <laughs> on their ribs? Yeah. It can't be good for your body. <laughs> so, and not only that, a lot of these teams go through training camps first. It's like I remember the, the last year, Kyle Crutchmer won, right? And I mean, Beast. even f it, he started in Greco, I believe, or maybe that was two years ago. But anyway, he had bags of ice saran wrapped around his body on his ribs, man. He was just beat up, bruised up. Kyle Crutchmer is one of my favorite wrestlers uh, he's to one watch. Of my he just favorite, blows so. through his leg attacks. Like when he, when he scores, he scores hard. Yeah. Go ahead. If you want to see yourself, fans, type in more like Kyle Crutch, Crushmer. That's what it is. Crutch Daddy. More like Kyle Crushmer. This kind of hurts Blease's momentum and also hurts his that gas stamina you're talking edge. About. Yeah. We got a ball game, huh? 9-3, turn to 9-9. Kind of story about the week. So much of that happening. Yep. 204 left. And that's why these guys are finalists. A lot of people, you know, Pico coming back from eight points, 9-9 nine, nine all of a sudden. These guys don't lay down ever. And this is the difference between wow, the guys war. that are in Far Fargo finals and guys that go one and three. I mean, a big part of this. You give up that last turn and match is over. A big part of this competition, and I said it a bunch, and we talked about it a bunch of times, is not just determining who the best wrestler is. Going through the war of all these matches prepares you so much. I mean, yeah. you, you wrestle on this, and then you go back to your state and wrestle some kind of tournament. I mean, there's, there's nothing and, better to prepare you. And a lot of guys can can win a match against a top 20 guy. Yeah. You can get that win, but when you got to do it four times in a row, <laughs> right. you, you got to put get it your all head together. ready all those times. you got to stay sharp all those times, stay healthy against guys that are that good. Win different style matchups, you, know, you know, so make adjustments. So impressive like at the NCAAs when somebody comes back and gets third after a loss in the first or second round. That's yeah. a guy that you know has something different. Right. Something special. Short tried to score with a head in the hole there. Please was able to square up and we're neutral. We'll decide it here in the last 115, all knotted at nine. Yeah, 18 points in this one as we approach a minute to go. Elbow off there for Blease to clear the tie. Shoots from space and a pinch in there. Short look to score. Will they call this one or will they call it center? 
No point, no push out. Well, no, it is going to be a push out. Yeah, I think that's the right call. That was Belize's attack started. In this. Now Short's in a position. He's, he's got plenty of time, 50 seconds. Not time to panic yet. Snap for Blees. Nice puts job that head him in front head. Will he try to score here? Or will he try to eat up clock? 30 seconds to go. And he's in on a little low single off that key lock for Short trying to fight like it off. Said, now a three point lead with 17 seconds. Nearly had a turn there as well, Joe. They might come to their feet with just a few seconds left. Nine seconds. Short's got to go feet to back. And come from behind here. Ryan Blease down 9 3 at one point. Ryan comes back. Blease gets to win it done. 12, nine. Nine unanswered points in the I second told you, period. That kid wrestles six minutes, man. What a tournament by Ryan Blees. He wins the toughest bracket in Fargo. Whew. Good match. Awesome match.